Welcome to the sessions of FAQs in C programming. My name is KV Ramna, trainer in Arrest Technologies. Let us watch this question. In this given question, two integer arrays are given. One of the integer array is A and another integer array is B. Actually, this code causes a compile time error. This is a statement causes a compile time error. Here the intention is copying the content of an integer array A into another integer array B. If you want to copy the values of array variable A into the array B, this is a wrong statement. The valid statement is, these are the set of valid statements. Assign the value of a of 0 to b of 0 and assign the value of a of 1 to b of 1 and assign the value of a of 2 to b of 2. These are the three valid statements to copy the content of an integer array a into another array b. That means here we can apply the assignment operator onto the individual elements of an array, but we cannot apply an assignment operator directly onto the array names A and B. That is the reason the statement causes an error. What is the background reason why the assignment operator is not allowed? onto the array variables A and B. Not only this assignment operator onto the arrays, you cannot apply any sort of operators directly as C language is supporting different kinds of the operators, arithmetic operators, relational, logical, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators like this. There are so many kinds of the operators in C language. We cannot apply all these operators directly onto the array names, but we can apply all these operators onto the individual elements of an array. The operators which are available in C has to be applicable on basic data types such as characters, integers and floats only. We cannot apply these operators onto the strings directly. We cannot apply these operators directly onto the arrays. So, what is the background reasoning? Why we cannot apply these operators onto the single array names directly? The reasoning is that when this uh, first statement is executed to an array variable A, a sequence of three contiguous memory locations are allocated. These are the three memory locations allocated to an array A. Assume that for an integer type variable, two bytes of memory is allocated. For integer, two bytes is allocating. That is the assumption I am making here. Assume that the address of the first memory location is 1000 and it is 1002 and the address of this memory location is 1004. The size of this memory location is 2 bytes, hence the first byte address is 1000, second byte address is 1001. I am not showing the second byte address of this first memory location, only the first byte address is shown into the diagram. And it is the second memory location of size 2 bytes, the first byte address is 1002, second byte address is 1003, similarly 1004 and 1005. The first byte address of this allocated memory block that is 1000 is automatically stored inside an array name A. This is the memory map of one dimensional array. And then the initializers 5, 8, 2 stored inside this corresponding memory locations. The value 5 stored into the first memory location the value 8 is stored inside second memory location and 2 is stored inside 
the third memory location. So, this is the memory representation of one dimensional array. Hence, uh, when the statement is executed, this is the array initialization statement. Once the statement executes inside the main memory, a block of memory is allocated to an array. The first byte address of this memory block is automatically stored inside an array name A. As the array name A is holding the address 1000, hence we can say an array A is also a pointer. What is a pointer? A pointer is a variable which is used to store address of the memory location. Hence here an array A is also known as a pointer because it is storing address. A variable which is using for storing addresses is known as a pointer. Hence we can say that an array A is here a pointer. But there is a difference between an array and a pointer. An array is a constant pointer, but the pointer is a variable pointer. The address which is held by the pointer can be altered by performing some set of operations on the address held by that pointer. But what is the address which is held by an array A? That address cannot be changed. Once some address was held by an array A, that address cannot be changed throughout the program. That is the reason an array is a constant pointer. That is the major difference between an array and a pointer. Similarly, when the second statement is executed to the second array B also, a sequence of three contiguous memory locations are allocated. Assume that for integer, two bytes of memory is allocating. Let it be the address of this first memory location is 2000 and it is 2002 and it is 2004. Here this is two bytes memory location. The first byte address is 2000, second byte address is taken as 2001. That second byte address I am not showing here. Here just I am showing address of the first memory lo address of the first byte of each memory location 2000, 2002 and 2004. The first byte address 2000 is automatically stored inside array name B. Now B points the memory block allocated like this. Of course, by default, the garbage values are stored in all these memory locations. Now coming to the third instruction here, B assignment operator A. Here trying to storing the address which is hold by A into B, not the values. Here there are two important elements, values and address. The meaning of this instruction is that trying to storing the address 1000 which is hold by A into B. That is here, the address hold by A is 1000, that 1000 I am trying to storing into B. As I already discussed, an array is a constant pointer. Once something address was stored in the memory into the into an array B, that address cannot be changed. That is here I am trying to changing the address which is hold by B 2000 as 1000 through the statement. That is the reason the statement causes an error because an array is a constant pointer. Already the array B is holding address 2000. Throughout the program, the B value should be 2000. It cannot be tries to change. If you are trying to changing the address hold by array by performing any sort of operation, that is an error. The compiler causes an error because an array is a constant pointer. Hence, the address hold by B 2000 cannot be altered. That is the reason. What is the code given here? This code causes a compile time error. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe Narish IT channel.